Yeah, I'm I'm freaking Hmm? Yeah, I'm uh Yeah, I'm I'm Irish Spring Green 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 on, on Twitch. Irish Spring Green 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 on Twitch. Irish Spring Green Green Alright. Well, IPY lost Mirage, so it's not like they missed anything out of the fans. So, making the switch where we get crisp, crisp, watch IPY win the next two maps. Smile. It was actually YouTube, that's so crazy. Alright, um, Twitch, I'm gonna do quick promotion, and then I'll, they're, they're not started yet anyway. So not live yet. Let me copy this link into uh, IPY CSGO. I can't believe it was YouTube. I mean, the the second um, I I thought I realized that YouTube was lagging behind in terms of the actual like footage I was sending to them, I was like, okay, maybe it isn't me. It's just YouTube. Hey, that was crazy. Uh, they're on knife round now. Yeah, I can change the scene to CS hopefully without having to redo the game capture. Smile. Okay, cool. Oh, oh! Thank God. I thought it was me or like upload packet loss or Spectrum upload. It was actually YouTube. That's crazy. I like because the OBS system was giving me like red, like um, like red for like dropped frames, and, and like I just figured that it was like my upload, but it was actually just YouTube. Let me know if you. I, I think the audio is, audio is okay, but if you want to give it a quick sound, uh, go ahead. I can't believe it was YouTube. That's so funny. Whatever. I probably lost the first map that can die in the archives. No one has to watch. Facts. That's what I'm saying. All right. Well, this is IUPI's map pick, so they're going to start on the traditionally disadvantageous T side. But, I mean, modern ancient meta isn't all that CT sided. In fact, I think some people will tell you it's T sided. Anyway, fast B play coming out here. Flashes thrown for the entry snarf gonna be blinded on that second one and the site's gonna be controlled by the t-side but they are gonna try to take slants here for the post plants i oh, gumbo only able to find one traded by snarf who's on a double kill already ext gonna find our cranic snarf looking for more already has two not gonna be able to find more now crisscross he was so good in the last map he finds two now just big daddy a who had a little bit of a quiet map last will not be able to recover and crisscross already off to the excellent start he paved on mirage michigan uh three for three on pistols uh, Facts. Simple B rush. I probably get the bomb down at least, but not able to uh, win the retake. So we'll see a force by here. Yeah. And I mean, on the flip side, there are two M41Ss bought up from Michigan. So it'll re really depend on, I think, where IUPUI runs into these guns as to where whether or not they're going to have success in this round. The MP9s are spread across the map. There are two MP9s on B, however. So if IUPUI chooses to go B, they might find success. I say that in our Kranich, who had so much success with the MP9 on Mirage, already off to a good start with the MP9 on Ancient. Finds the kill on Big Daddy A lurking into caves and... Oh man, the CTs have all the information. Be there, even flanking into the spawn of the IEPI Jaguars. This is almost certainly going to be a disaster unless No Walk Over plays his hand. Kind of spot out Straylock, long range, trying to tap with the MP9. This actually is a disaster for him. He had everything, but just shoots too early. And now the T's, they're actually pivoting back to spawn. All the information that Michigan had has been lost, and they lost a player in the process. IPI winning this round at this point would be such a curveball. T side coming up in threes here. Arcranic trying to isolate Feist. He finds Straylock. That was the low health player. Going to smoke close. 
With 50 seconds left, that's not going to be around losing in Gumboot. He takes the distraction and finds Snarf on elbow. Arcranic walking away from the angle they just smoked. This round is so tense. How has this happened? So many different angles. Oh, and Gumboot just jumped up in time to avoid Arcranic's vision. Falling back onto the B-side. He's the only point of defense in that cave area. 25 seconds left is not a lot of time, and the rotations are just now starting from the e on the C-side. EST gets instant headshot by Arcranic. Trying to find a 4K in this round onto CMX. He won't be able to. CMX, the swing is good enough on 15 health. Gumboot finds a double in this round. That Molly is not going to be good enough to stop the plant. And now Crisscross got a 3K in the last round. Needs to find two here. Finds Gumboot. That smoke. It was good enough for Crisscross to lurk through, and he seems completely aware of the possibility that CMX has pushed into his enemy, into his own area. Will he be aware of that possibility lane? Almost certainly. And now CMX trying to game the system. Finds Crisscross's back turn. And CMX, he was just a couple of bullets away from losing the fight to Arcranic on the side entry, and instead he ends up clutching out the round for the IUPI Jaguars. What a chaotic round. What a canic run indeed. Um, Arcanic doing work with the MP9 that we saw the last match. No walk essentially kind of threw the round. Um, he tried to take a long range fight with the MP9, and I just feel like that kill alerting I to I that, oh, they pushed B, like, let's reset here. And Ooh, this is a, oh my god, this is gonna be freaking four versus four fast man. Oh my goodness, who's gonna win? Flash is coming in. We immediately, immediately takes up Big Daddy 8. The sprays are everywhere. EXT finds one, Gumbu finds one, EXT finds two, Snarf. Last man alive. IEQI gonna come out on top of this deathmatch. And EXT, the top fragger of it. Three kills, two to one, IEQI, and that was a force buy for Michigan. Yeah, it was. So, IEQI. Ever losing pistol, winning the first force. Prime position to go up 3-1 early. Um, we'll see a nade stack here, probably mid yeah. from Michigan. I think I've once again headed fast mid though. These nades and USP. It's going to be a repeat of last round. Flash is in. There's just going to be kills anywhere. Who's going to come out on top? I think I definitely favored with their guns and they're currently making good on that. Smurf the only player. Oh my god, the silencer's off for the stream. Arcranic finds Straylock. He's found two for the stream. Aided by grenades on the first, I assume. CMX also down low. If, if the T's abandon this middle area without disposing of the weapons in the process, this could get dicey. Arcranic, he is not... Passive at all, walking all the way up to elbow. I'm surprised he isn't gun fishing, but maybe t alerting his team to do that for him. And indeed, I think there are going to be two AK 47s picked up here. This is dangerous now for IEPO. I'm surprised they didn't try to dispose of the guns or at least displace them a bit. EXT, he's realizing right now that the AKs that were once his teammates are now firing against him. That jump should alert Snarf of the exact location Arcane, of that bomb Arcane. plant. Bruh, how many times are we going to say this, dude? You plan the close corner if you don't want to get shot from cave. It's like one spot, you know? Well, Straylock trying to tell EXT and Dead Chat how to plant the bomb, and Gumboot goes down. Oh, Multiple man. questionable decisions there from IEPY. Some in groups, some in solo. Cost the Jaguars the round, and that is not a good place to be economically either. No, uh, that was a 5 USP run. Uh, you lost the 5 USPs. Um... Probably just want to just. I mean, I I think you just take those fights mid. Like you know they'll probably regress. You just chill. But regardless, Michigan wins around they shouldn't. And tie game. IP or IPI gonna force back here. Yeah, I mean thus far we've seen it pretty much exclusively pack defaulting from the IPI side, and this round is no different. Gonna be pack defaulting into a cave and mid pinch for sure. Akrenic playing this cubby position you don't see played all that often. I feel like heavily focused on caves this round. Akrenic lurked up so close. Crisscross from Valorant, or from Donut, more commonly called, we'll say, is going to find one. Big Daddy A trying to make a play very quickly. EXT finds a kill as well on that B bomb site. Akrenic loading in a giveaway position in Sherlock. I mean, that's just a free kill for him. So, two versus four. Darrow down to a 2 versus 3. Wii's going to find Trailock and Cubby. Chris, CMX going to trade that back. And Snarf 
Aggressing down ramp will find EXT, so one versus two. IPUI in very good post plants and average top fraggers for the Jaguars alive. Got to double swing this power player in Snarf and I'm a little bit surprised by Snarf's kind of lack of sense of danger there as they enter Donut, but nonetheless IUPUI bounces back from the horrible round loss and uh, collects the round win. Very, yeah. Uh, if you had a battle of the forces going on right now, uh, Michigan going to call a tech pause. Um, did this against us. Their computers at Michigan are very dog shit, apparently. So, um, shocked that no pauses were in the first map. We had to deal with a pause every map. So, you know, they fixed something, I guess. A little did bit. you get any sense that are they required to play on university computers? I, I don't think some of I mean, I, I mean, either it's the, well, I don't know where they're playing, where all of them are playing, but yeah, someone, yeah. They, they, they constantly were complaining about Michigan itself, so. Okay. I'm going to assume one of them, though, has a potato. Uh, yeah, I mean, their ping is fine, so. Yeah. Someone's cat is on fire. Shout out Graham Rowe. Shout out GM underscore R. We miss you. We hope Boomer retirement treats him well. Alright. So, I mean, mid 2 tail being thrown just to kind of signal mid could be a possibility, but absolutely no effort to contest this area for the T side and IPY. This is a very mixed force buy from the Michigan side, and right now it is not going well. EXT going to collect two because Chris Cross's Deagle is not on point there for sure. Big Daddy A going to escape narrowly. The Deagle's just not working out for Michigan right now. And one common thing that we saw that entire Mirage map is Michigan was only forced onto even a half by even once. So if IEPUI can just make it a mission to keep Michigan's economy in, in, in check, um, that would be a good start because... Michigan has already saved or half bought three times in this one map, and IEPUI success is, is definitely showing. No walk, just going to try to survive with this A1S, but is looking ever increasingly unlikely, and that is going to be it. So, Michigan going to be forced onto another save. Two to five is <laughs> where is likely, and it is not going to be where you want to be. No walk, question marking, Big Daddy A shooting him. Um, that was what I thought it was Big Daddy funny. A just spent an entire Mirage map underperforming, so you're not you, you don't you don't question Andy at that point. Big Daddy A is uh, definitely tilted about map one. I can't tell you that much. All right, another eco. Surely this time I do I doesn't let this eco go the way the last yeah, well, one did. If they end up trying to take this B side, uh, they have uh, <laughs> no one to contest. So Tristan. Um, Michigan won map one Mirage. It was 16 to 11. 11. Basically, IEPY had a good CT side half, 10 to 5, and then IEPY started the T side, and I don't. I think they won one T side round. One round? Yeah, yeah. one round. And it was a Palace pop on a save round. Oh, <laughs> yep, it was a Palace eco. So, yeah, th this, uh, this T side starting off way better, we'll say. Also, Tristan, the VOD for that game got griefed by YouTube stream servers. Fun fact. So, don't go looking for it. It's like 10 FPS and it doesn't even finish. I kind of want to see them boost here just to see what it looks like. Alright, I've seen what it looks like. Jedi playing aim underscore bots right now. Amazing eco kills from Big Daddy A there. He's really what he's known for. Four kills goes from three to seven in one round. For very high impact kills. I fucking love eco frags. Yep, he does. <laughs> Big Daddy A is hungry for the ecos and man. <laughs> he finds <laughs> he eats them, man. Just don't, just don't tell him what leadify he got for that. Probably like... 
like 5% worth of Leadify. Maybe 10% maybe if he's lucky. Wow. Okay, this is definitely a B play for the IE5 Jaguar. It's going to be a 99%. And the CTs are actually well prepared for this. Three players here. But how will they react to these two? The cave smoke actually misses. There are two players' caves. The first one goes down, but will they expect a second in Snarf? Snarf doesn't even expect the Ts to be up as far as they are. Big Daddy going to find that kill on what he probably thought was a rotational player. IEFUI's utility not even used correctly, but the scaling and the entries are just so solid for the Jaguars that Michigan just completely caught off guard, and it's definitely a change of pace as IEFUI really hadn't ran fast plays onto the bomb sites before that, so. Good mix-up, good mix-up. Caught Michigan off guard for sure, and uh, as much as IEFUI can, I think avoiding crisscross is, is a good plan as well. Yep, and beautiful uh, 99% there, keeping it classy. IPO are going to find six T rounds. That's six times the amount of T rounds they found on this map than Mirage. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, this is, um, you know, flipped sides, of course, but IEPY did, it must be noted, did have a 10-5 lead in the first half in their last game, and we're not able to close. So, I think the real test will be as the second half starts, can IEPY close out. So, they're once again going to run into a three-player stack on defense, and once again, they're finding the entries very easily. This is a bit of a mixed buy, but, I mean, Straylock just doubles up after trading CMX's first kill, and, yeah, I mean... Michigan is is putting the players in the correct places for these defenses, you know. Had three there for the B rush, had three there for the mid rush, and still not able to at least win the initial fights. Luis is in a decent spot here to stop this A play, especially if the timing goes well for him. The bomb is out for Gumbu. Ex team not looking towards big box. Gumbu gonna spot it out though, goes down for it. Straylock on one HP is gonna find another kill on three kills for his squad. Invaluable this round for the Jaguars. Snarf in this back temple has to find a decent timing here. Would like to kill EXT first before having to deal with Straylock, especially considering Straylock's low HP. Snarf having a smoke as well makes this interesting. EXT going to hear that, and Straylock, four kills in the round for the IEPY Jaguars. A fantastic round for him. Yep. Very, very impactful round from Straylock there as IEPY kind of almost threw that 5v3. But should like make sure that wasn't happening. No weird buy is gonna beat them the unancient outside I mean, of that eco. I mean that last round, like like I said, there were there were some armor five sevens, and yet again Michigan's on the safe. So the economy, from a strategic and just from a reality standpoint on Michigan, it is it, it has not not been good in this ancient CT side at all, and it's it's definitely been a major reason why IPI is up seven to two. IEPY gonna once again change up their default. This is um I, I'd say in general it's a lot easier to identify when defaults have changed and strategies have changed on a map like Ancient that is so linear than a map like Mirage that has a, a lot of kind of nuance to the map controls. Um but I, I just it just in general I think that just in these nine rounds of Ancient, these ten rounds of Ancient, we've seen a lot more different looks from the IPY side on Ancient that we did on Mirage. Iwi's trying to make something happen with that Deagle on Big Box, but going to be shut down and crisscross with Deagle. Mm, these are not going to be easy fights for him to win. Snarf going to try to provide backup. Big W is tagged out of 38 here. These 5-7 bullets are ringing true, but not going to be able to find a kill just yet. No walk collecting a aggressor into the CT spawn, but our Kranich... I'm going to try to trade... This is a bit dicey position-wise, but without a kit, it's unlikely that Michigan will be able to actually win this round. Bomb is planted in a pretty tradable position, so... And the clock is so low. Our Kranich is going to be trying to do some economic damage. With the bomb radius being as it is on Ancient, I don't even know if CMX can live here. Yeah. Drug 40 damage. IPY. Not going to be ecstatic with uh, the last round, but will be happy with the W. Dang right, they will be. Now, IPY's goal. 
which will be very interesting to see them how they play nuke, which is why I kind of think it's nuke. Yeah. So. Gumbo gonna buy up the first T side AWP of the game. Gonna be posting elbow this time. No one for Michigan contesting mid at all, opting into just a donut hold. The walk gonna take out Big Daddy A, trying to get aggressive into the cubby on Banana. And Snarf, not showing any s sign of relenting. Wanted to push down there, and I think the smoke is what's finally made him stop. Crisscross gets mollied on his back donut, dinks up Gumbu, but not before the op. Will be able to find a kill there. Gumbu on this AWP is threatening to just cut off any rotation from B to A, and Snarf is testing the limits of that. Jiggling every angle here. Gumbu gonna get shut down. Was able to fire off a shot, but it did not hit Awiz now in a similar situation, missing his off shot on Big Box. Reswings does find Sherlock. Reswings again, not able to find a second. Snarf in that CT position, gonna get smoked off. This should be a secure plant and a two versus three post plant for the Jaguars. This is about as good as an opportunity we've seen Michigan have to win around in a long time. Will they be able to capitalize on another question entirely? No walk, flashed out of any kind of fast donut approach. EXT getting pushed into HS on the Snarf there, and that's going to open up the round for the Jaguars. Indeed, CMX isolates the fight on a no-walk and will win. That's a fantastic flash from EXT as well to stall Arcranic's walk-up. This smoke on Arcranic could make things interesting here. Going to deploy it onto the bomb. That's going to force some action to be had from the T-side. EXT going to spray the smoke. Arcranic not revealing his location yet. We'll find EXT there. The flashman going to be thrown after the bomb defuse. Will CMX be able to find this kill? No M4 bullets. He's going for a knife. He does tag him once, but it's not going to be enough for the kill. And Arcranic wins the one versus two. Wow. That was a great team plant up until it was <laughs> one post plant. And then it just devolved. I guess EMX ran his AK. Didn't want to spam his kill. And just kind of whipped the knife there. Um, yeah, he's, he's spraying after the first tap, kind of got him. Yeah, and, and the smoke well. made all the difference. I love how that was played. Just tapping the bomb the first time, letting the T's gas a bit, let them waste their ammo, and then spring into life before they know you didn't stick. It was, it was really just perfectly played and a well-deserved uh, clutch win from Michigan side. But that clutch is not going to uh, <laughs> not going to win the map for the Michigan side. They're going to need a lot more than just that. 3B setup once again from Michigan. Big Daddy A very cognizant of the possibility of this B ramp crawl. And Snarf hot off the clutch wants to challenge. That flashbang is full blinding Big Daddy A. He is able to get to cover. And CMX protects his rifler from window. Gumboot spotted out by Nowak. Pre-aimed and will be killed. This is where... The T's have to make a decision. Do we want to try to re-aggress mid and go A, or do we want to hit B? And they're going to challenge this A-bomb side again. They've had a lot of success planting. We just witnessed a failed post-plant. Straylock running in. Going to get caught out by Elise, who repositions into A-main, making it untradeable. It's now on the rest of the T's to get a bomb plant and a post-plant set up, and crisscross challenging every bit of that. Elise and Noah creating an unpassable line past this point in A-main, and it's just falling apart for the Jaguars. CMAX left in almost an impossible clutch, but there's no smoke on the CT side. Not gonna matter. Arcranic finds CMAX and Donut and Michigan. They're they're putting they're putting the pieces together. They've stopped the bleeding. Yeah, they have definitely stopped the bleeding. As they delayed the fuse here. I don't know what they were looking for in particular, unless they know an yeah. op is down somewhere. Oh, I guess Gumboot did have an op in mid-house that they're looking for, I guess, but I guess they've decided against it at this point because they, they found it. <sighs> I don't think that was ever Michigan. removed. Michigan, though, two runs in a row. Uh, T economy, though, was built up. Uh, the team, I said 12k going into this round, so they did able to drop a few. Yeah, I mean, there was just such a large economy that even just one bomb plane at this point prevents around 15 save. I mean, CMX can still buy two AKs with just what's left over That's before any kind of loss bonus. Mid control taken by the T's. This is uh, the first time in a while I think we've seen some early mid control from the IPI side. CMX challenging Snarf on the ramp. This is where Snarf almost found Big Daddy last round to support Flash of his teammate. No door smoke means that CMX 
There's always going to be a factor here. Meanwhile, a lot of mid-pressure being put on. Sherlock flashing Gumboot into Donut. And he's going to take that space and lurk into mid-house. This is where Gumboot got with the AWP. Well, it was actually taken out by the rotating player. This time with an AK-47 going to scale up with the help of a flashbang. Arcranic in that close right corner. This is not going to be an easy fight for Arcranic to win if Gumboot clears it. But, oh, an amazing flick headshot by Gumboot. And a crucial kill as well as his teammate Big Daddy A fell in the same process at the same time. No walk. Walking his way into the mid-house. Gumboot turns at the wrong time, trying to put pressure on A, and Awiz is making good on that distraction. Gets two kills for himself. CMX just now able to collect Snarf on a rotation, but it has fallen apart as AX. You get crisscross, maybe a miscom of some locations. They're not expecting the fast A main, and now this is a very winnable one versus two for CMX, but the nade from no walk. He's going to make sure CMX can never walk again. IPY. <laughs> Only on eight rounds. Yep, only on eight. Um, Michigan, they can close this out and get to seven here. That'd be going into the, the T side, which I'd argue I think is probably favored now on Ancient. I mean, not only from like just a you know a round for round perspective, but also from a momentum perspective. They haven't lost their last three. If they go into the half winning five in a row, that's not going to be an easy like task to recover from, especially considering that IEPI has lost every pistol thus far in the series. Very quickly into Donut is Gumbo, and the rest of his teammates will join him A main. This is, when I mean, the A bomb thing has just been a point of interest for the Jaguars, and it makes sense. It's been three B stacks almost the entire game for Michigan. It's just about making good on these lack of players on this A bomb site that IEPI has not been able to do, but this time, no indication of a rotation early. IEPI is onto this bomb site quickly. The Molotov for Cave does miss, though. And Oiz might be able to make some plays here. EXT going to take this fight, instantly loses it. And now the post plan is on, and IPY, they do have Donut, but there's so much utility on the CT side. Because the execute was so early, the retake has a lot of utility to work with. They didn't have to use it in their holds. They can use it on the retake instead, and now the kills are going to come in. Big Daddy A finds one in Donut, but is traded by Snarf. The cave push just now starting to come in. Gumbo feeling a lot of pressure, isn't able to make good on it. Now Straylock, one versus four. Can't find the first just yet, and this is looking grim for the Jaguars. And indeed, it will end that way as well. IPY losing... Four straight now. Michigan really have recovered this half from what looked like an unwinnable game. Yeah. Uh, IPI is looking to run away with it early, but Michigan finding footing and uh, holding their ground now is IPI not able to win that 5v5 A, uh, a hold. And now Michigan looking to pick up a much needed seventh and IPI looking to stop the bleeding and momentum that Michigan has. Yeah, and I mean, what was working early in the game in general, I think, was a lot of, like, defaulting that was getting kills, and Michigan has kind of just denied that for my EQI. A lot of their positions since then have been very passive. Not, I mean, think about all the, like, the three mids, the three aggro Bs that we saw for Michigan to start, and they've just completely backed out of that. No walk. He's going to completely collect this early cave push from the IEPY Jaguar side, and it is looking even more likely than ever that this half is going to end 8-7. to seven. Michigan winning five in a row, unless CMX or... Straylock can come up with some heroic plays here, but the, with the bomb being where it is, it's, it seems an all unlikely. And now Louise with the op takes out CMX, IEPY. They better hope that they can recover their momentum very quickly on the CT side, whether it be pistol or soon after, because they are looking qu quite lost to close out this half. Sherlock waltzing into an inevitable death here. Arcranic. Going to be the last Michigan Wolverine to fall. So, important, I think an important thing to note here is Crisscross, despite the 35 kill performance on Mirage, hasn't really been needed to get Michigan to, at the very least, a competitive point on the CT side. It should be, at the, at the end of the day, I should, it is worth noting that IEPI did win that half. It's more so in the fashion that they did is, is just not good. Uh, for just a momentum perspective, moving into the yeah. second half. Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll see if uh, Steve Michigan will go four for four on pistol. Kit bought up for Straylock Dooley's from Big Daddy Eight. It is going to be a B play, blatantly obvious here for the Michigan Wolverines. The choice is ramp or cave, and it's going to be ramp. 
Scumboot going to be alerted of these players. CMX finds one on the crawl up. They're going to push into slant, much like IEPY tried to do. Successful, not yet. Big Daddy with the duelies finds three on the caves run out, and that is exactly what the doctor ordered for the Jaguars. They needed that momentum switch, and doing it with the dual brothers just makes it all the all the, uh, all the better, big, really. Big Daddy A channeling his Wild West impression, man. Guns blazing with them duelies. Picks up three. Much needed uh, momentum killer for the Michigan side. No bomb plan either makes them have to save here. No force by IEPY in prime position to pick up double digit rounds after this one. <laughs> yeah. Gonna be just a fast mid Glock play for the T side, and this is likely going to be over before the 20 second mark. Even hits in this round, I don't even know who to switch to because everyone's dying, and IEPI will collect that for free. Gumboot finds three, Sherlock finds two, Big Daddy A not able to farm the eco kills. We'll see what that does for the rest of the game. Performance on the Big Daddy A side, I'm sure that will not be good for his mental. First gun round, we'll get a decent idea, I think, of how Michigan wants to attack this T side. Their utility is decent enough to run a default, especially a smoke centric one. Wow, that is an instant mid mid door smoke. I feel like I gotta be calling that out immediately and adjusting their mid protections as follows. That is a strong HE on a no walk down to 65 HP. He's showing no hesitation in trying to get into this mid house. Four players in mid for Michigan. The bomb completely stranded right now, rifting from B to T spawn. I think the call has definitely been made to try to make this an A effort. Sherlock trapped in a corner with an MP9. Almost escapes with a kill there, but not going to be good enough. The smoke is actually going to be used to try to go mid to B. Gumboot, though, steadfastly protecting the angle. He finds two with the A1S at long range. Spray is good there. CMX collects the Valorant Lurker, and a big daddy A finds one as well. What looks so promising as a default there for Michigan gets completely torn to pieces. I'm surprised with how hellbent they really seemed on going to be there. Crisscross finds a kill. Damages the CT economy a bit there, but unless he is a god and he is not, he's going to go down. So, CMX and Gumbu both double up and we we saw some definite intent there for Michigan to default mid-fast, but not a lot of success uh, in terms of taking site controls. Yeah. Once they got mid control there, um, they were able to even find that opening kill on Shreylock, but Gumboot held his ground, A1S, easy taps, um, blew up that Michigan uh, B split attempt. As we'll see a half by here, instant mid smoke, racial slurs are being said, respectively, and they're running out mid. Yeah, I mean, the utility thrown by IEPY is doing some good damage, though, on these fast mid plays, despite their lack of vision and map control. The, the damage they're doing is, is going to be always valued, and Straylock just sprayed three people down from CD spawn. Four, almost on the ace. He's going to be swinging for this, and he's going to collect. That is an that is, that is a ace for Straylock, and that is exactly why the utility matters so much. It slowed the time. It not only did the damage, but it slowed the timings down enough for Straylock to get from Midhouse to CT elbow and make that spray happen. Yep. Big Daddy, once again, not able to really capitalize on eco kills. Yeah, I mean, that's a fantastic point. I didn't think about that. He must just be shaking right now. He is must be shaking. Three mids might be why to start. Yeah, I like this play from IEPY to switch up, and the, the combination of both these mollies and a smoke will allow IEPY to contest the window very quickly. However, this T's are contesting just as fast into cave. The XM from Big Daddy A gets two kills, and CMX from Boxes finds one as well. IEPY, these quick puggy situations on the CT side, it seemed like they were hurting them so much on the C side of Mirage, is helping them a lot on the CT side of Ancient. I, I think it, it has to be noted that. I think the, the the panic reaction from Michigan at the, the, at the sound of hearing the XM starting to fire really negatively affected their aim on Big Daddy A there. But <laughs> I think, uh, nonetheless, uh, getting two kills with the XM is not only good for your kill count, but also good for your bank account. That's 1,800. T side of Michigan is trying to make this into as many one versus one or one versus two as they can. I feel pretty content here to give up mid. 
38 seconds means that any kind of action towards the bomb site likely means a full rotation can be can be ordered. Straylock gonna catch out No Walk's legs there on that jiggle peak. Smoke gonna be thrown to go mid to A. Gumboot gonna be fighting a very important fight hunter onto Weez, and he's gonna win it. So now it's just onto No Walk. Not even able to find out Straylock. So IEPY up 13 to 7 with a major, not only numerical lead, but also economy lead. Michigan once again gonna have to half fight here. Yeah, and we've Just, seen it pretty much exclusively mid rushes with the ecos, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because they, they glocked, they glocked, and then they did it with the pistols. Yeah. Uh, no, it looks like it has to be the indoor caves. Wow, and I feel they actually changed up their setup here. And, well, actually, no, he's actually gonna go back to mid. It looked like CMX was gonna start B here. But he's actually going to just now route towards there. And because it's a caves play, he'll be here on time. Big Guy going to catch out the first timing. Molly and caves to shut down the push. I think Skimax just mollied his teammate out of a pillar rotation. Or maybe it was Gumboot. Somebody mollied pillar there and prevented Big Daddy from rotating. Maybe it was the T side. Sterlock anyway. We'll find no walk. And Chris cross. CMX not going to be able to stop the bomb plant, but looks like it's going to be a pretty easy collection here for the rest of EXT. Actually going to find the last one. Were you able to catch me through that Molotov? Um, it was whoever was playing Slant. Okay, so it was his teammate, I guess. It was a teammate. I think Big, I think Big Daddy was trying to escape out of caves and play Pillar there, but the Molly prevented it and was forced into uh, the cave fight. CMX lining out of out of spawn Molotov off of the top of this L spray. It's a very unknown tech that's really only ever been seen on the IEPY roster. I'm actually gonna opt out of it. It's probably the right call. 3B to start here for the T side, two mid. I'm not gonna show any effort to go through these Molotovs, just I think just looking for even just a an ounce of early fights and Big Daddy is gonna give it to him. Wins the first, can't win the second. Jaguar control taken. Meanwhile, Chris Cross once again finding a double kill for his team to open up the round. We saw this a lot on Mirage. Haven't seen it on Ancient. No walk saves Chris Cross from danger, finding Straylock there. So a good start to this T side round. Something that we really haven't been able to say from Michigan. Snarf gonna make it even better. Ext finds himself in a one versus four, just like that. The deathmatch server really benefits. The Michigan Wolverines, and they are now just one kill away from finally finding themselves their first T side round. For however bad the T side for the IEPI Jaguars were, was on Mirage, uh, Michigan's has been equally as bad on Ancient. Finally going to stop the bleeding here, unless EXT finds a clutch, and it looks like Michigan's going to try to give it to him. Found two kills already, and Chris. Cross is on such low HP. This Molotov is going to be completely unchallengeable. At least on the AWP, we'll find EXT before he can cross to the bomb. However, and uh, IEPY is going to have to wait at least one more round to find match point. Yep. Uh, Michigan just, you know, just found all the... Won every fight that round on their default. Uh, Big Daddy was going to find one, but it was instantly traded. Should have been a lot more uh, convincing for Michigan, but EXT made it interesting. There, I know. Unfortunately, was unable to clutch. Uh, I feel I still in a good position for uh, full buy here. Yeah, this is the same default we saw last round for Michigan. They sent three people up caves. This time only two. Big Daddy A still wants this fight. This time he's brought a much bigger gun though. The AWP finds Arcranic and Crisscross, looking for a trade that will never come. Meanwhile, CMX once again aggro into this box position. He's done a lot of work here. But also been fragged a lot here. With the pressure Big Daddy put on caves early, it might transfer onto mid. CMX is going to find the first, but likely to be caught out running away indeed. Crisscross will find that. And with Big Daddy A's position all the way, actually, he's, he's backed up all the way to lane. Now just rotating in a mid where Straylock is going to be fighting Valorant onto Scarf and actually finds both players. A fantastic spray from Straylock. A little bit of a desperate play there from Michigan, trying to flash through a donut smoke quite early into the round. I'm, I'm a bit surprised by particularly trying to flash through a donut smoke or because there's just so many 
angles that are impossible to flash on that location. Nonetheless, Elish has found himself an open B bomb site in, in rather comical fashion. There is no one here for the IUPUI Jaguars. I don't know if they thought they dropped bomb or they thought they knew where he was anyway. He's going to collect, at the very least, a decent paycheck for his teammates next round. Gumboot, going to spot him out. Not going to go to find the kill, and Elish makes this a one versus three. Swings into two players, not able to find either. And IUPUI under 15, one round away from forcing nuke. Yep, Big Daddy buying the op to prevent the cave peak and uh, feel like finding a huge double in donut. IPY looking very comfortable on this ancient. This is the first time we even get to see ancient um, in their collegiate season. Uh, they are looking really sharp on it. Nuke is one round away, which will be an exciting third map, I believe. Big Daddy is still on the AWP. Same default once again from Michigan. We'll see if they challenge Cave in the same way. Molly gonna be actually it's just gonna be a flash waiting. Not gonna be good enough to blind Big Daddy, but will blind himself. 5-7 whipped out and shut down Snarf. Meanwhile, Gumboot spraying through the wall almost goes down from wall bangs. EXT also dangerously close to the op barrel of Oige, who's actually gonna try to make solo clears with his pistol jumping, alerting EXT of his position. And that's going to be a free off-angle kill for EXT. Fantastically played from him. IPY on the absolute brink of forcing this map three. No walk trying to get a pick for his team here. Make this a two versus three. Shaylock. That was close from both sides, but... What will be gained for the IUPUI side is information. And if No Walk starts to to run, I don't think Strelok can hear this. I'm not reacting to it. So first point of contact here will be CMX. This is not going to be an easy angle to clear if CMX continues to play this off angle, especially with 38 seconds, now down to 31. Man, this clock is so far ticked. Will they even choose to deploy smokes ahead of time? Their rotations have arrived. Big Daddy A finds the first kill on the AWP. No walk will find CMX. That nade should do some pretty decent... Actually, it gets, it gets ancienced. 13 seconds means this is... Wow, he's actually not forcing this bomb plant. Big Daddy A goes down, but there's only 7 seconds, and the wall bank from Sherlock will end it. 16-8, to eight, IEPY doing 3 rounds better than their opponents on their own map pick, and we are going to map 3 nuke. So, the very least, IEPY is as good as WMU against Michigan. Now they have to prove that they are better. Thoughts, Jack ICDD, if you are here. Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> one thing was muted. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, so far, they're equal with us. Uh, Nuke is a wild card. Uh, they picked it because they must have uh, either... Uh, they've done something that they've liked on that map because I was... Well... No, or maybe the hatred for overpass is the reason that nuke is this map. But regardless, um, we'll probably see. Yeah, I, I like that theory. The, I, like, I like that theory. Gumboot is on the op. Um, they'll know outside smokes with Shaylock. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I, I think a big difference from from Mirage to Ancient there on both sides is that Crisscross seems to be a full blown, full bred Mirage pug demon. Because he drops 35 kills on Mirage and then goes to Ancient. And I think he had, like, maybe a little bit over 10. Yeah. Meanwhile, Straylock, who had, I think, a rough fragging performance on Mirage, he is playing um, the uh, A bomb uh, site. He had 20. He had 20 on Mirage. He had 20 on Mirage? Okay. Well, he led the way on Ancient as well then. So he's having a fantastic series for the Jaguars. Yeah. Whew. This will be interesting. It should be noted that uh, CSGO did tweet um, a non-office gift today. Just an hour ago, they've tweeted the gif of the man reacting very, uh, in, a, in a conspiracy theory-esque manner to the uh, bulletin click, board. Did you click uh, the alt? We are Mac. They're the guy that the yeah, person yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously what they're saying, though, is that the Mac iOS came out March 
third, two thousand one. Um, so okay, okay, that is I see, switched. I see. Three days. <laughs> Thank you, CSGO. Yeah. Well, you know. Like I said, if Source 2 came out, I would have instantly stopped the stream, you know. It is what it is. I mean, people would understand, so. <laughs> Shit, how long was I muted? I think just the end there. Okay. Or whenever I was talking over you, I guess, on accident, I don't know. All good nation. So, on Nuke, I very much expect uh, Straylock to be located somewhere on the A bomb site. Big Daddy to be located somewhere outside. CMX probably is going to be a mini garage player, which leaves uh, Gumboot and EXT to pick up Ramp and A. I would assume they probably put like like Gumboot, Ramp, and EXT second A player maybe. So e maybe EXT top up, Straylock CG, Gumboot, Ramp, CMX mini, and uh, Big Daddy A garage. That's that's a formal prediction. Okay, important knife round. Actually matters. True, true. What are your thoughts on No Walk's profile picture? I think it goes amazingly hard, personally. It's, it's like everything, honestly. Has a profile picture ever gone harder? I don't think so. Like, he's him. Like, wow. Oh, IPO will be starting on the T side. Like has opened a container and wasted his money. Thoughts? Um, I applaud him for actually uh, spending his money on a case. Caleb, learn to uh, have some fun. And with those thoughts, we will be moving into the A site to execute inevitable unless they are faking it and going ramp. We will see three players go up the ladder. Sorry, two players it's, go up the ladder, one player in mini. Gonna be a ramp hit. Here comes Chris Cross to try to fight five people. Once it does not go as well as he expected, and there are going to be five T's flying down this ramp. Quick rotation from Snarf in decon. Gonna try to take fights instantly. Headshot from Big Daddy. This is going incredibly well for the Jaguars. No walk with this hard profile picture is not hitting the hard shots. And now Arcanic and Iwij left to die. Arcanic one versus five finds the first no kit body armor and a dream. Worried about a secret flank when he should be worried about his bank accounts. Instead, he's actually going to fake the ladder or tree and use it to try to find an avenue onto this bomb defuse, but will not. It is instead a boulevard of broken dreams. IUPUI won the first pistol round. IUPUI winning another pistol round. Maybe we've been struggling to do this series. True. What? Two in a row. Because uh, they won the T side. Will they be able to reach three and tie it up in the second half of this game? That's very anticipated. All right, four US, three USPs of five seven and P two fifty. IEP has lost to this in this series. IEP has lost to worse in this series. 
or is the play? It is an anti-lobby crunch default, and they are going to be crunched. Will they actually have the anti part of it? They will. This is an absolutely free round for the Jaguars. Rest in peace, Draylock. Gone, but not forgotten. All right, Michigan, onto a gun round. The favored CT side of Nuke that they selected to start on. Will they be able to build some momentum, or will IEPY run away with this series in reverse sweep fashion? We'll answer that question now. Crisscross coming off a map he'd like to cross off of his history. Playing ramp for Michigan, so the action will that he'll see are pretty much exclusively selected by the IEPY side. Big Daddy A coming out. Squeaky finds the entry. EXT traded from the Heaven player. Big Daddy A tried to go down Vent and live despite missing it. Our training has to be punching his monitor. He finds three people with four bullets. What is going on? And we just can't find the spray. IEPY are fluking their way into this round win. What is going on? No walk. Walks into Straylock and finds the kill. Crisscross. He showed heroics on Mirage. Can he show them on Nuke? Going to line up the retake smoke for Heaven. Decides against it, and they're going to save, actually. So IEPI is going to put three rounds on the board, and Michigan's going to be forced to try to win a half by next round. IEPI really... They, they, probably, they should not be winning this round, but they are winning this round. Kind of fluke of missing the vent turns into an accidental E hit. It's kind of crazy. Gumbu gonna find nothing but lead on his chase. And they are gonna maintain their guns. So, this momentum that we discussed... Michigan needing to bounce back. Not going to start for now. They are going to full buy into this round around the saved rifles. So the decision to save definitely makes sense. Big Daddy A has only lived three rounds and has built up a bank account of 8k. That is not a good sign for Michigan. No walks. Nade's going to do a lot of damage to that player though. Big Daddy A down quite a bit of health. Lurk smoke thrown from no walk to try to give himself some space, but there are plenty of T's willing to take the fight. And across the donate into Big Garage from Big Daddy A. This is going to be a lot of pressure on the CT map control. Weege in heaven. Jumping up on a railing. I don't know if that was spotted. of the flash. Timed well, but Weege gets away. Big Daddy A will find a kill on the low HP. Can't find more. Gumboot trades it. Snarf and mini garage will find one with the two with the A long range headshot on the CMX. Great control and tapping on that end, and our Kranich is flat flanking a squeaky player, and he's gonna go for the knife. This is actually a smart play because the CT side's economy could use it, and Snarf three kills with the MP9 is also gonna be very good for the bank account. That's a great bounce back round for the Michigan Wolverines. A huge bounce back round for the Michigan Wolverines, and uh, yeah, winning the outside fights. Maybe if Big Daddy A has an AK there. Um, Kids that kill quicker may be able to get up to heaven, but when they had a 5.7 max 10, um, regardless, Michigan picks up a much in the first round. That knife kill allows for an op to be picked up here as Arcanic dropped it to Uige because of that knife. So, CT op is in play. IFUI looks like they want to do a contact ramp play here. Crisscross going to be throwing a smoke in. That is not going to be respected, and neither will his position. This is a disaster for Chris Cross on ramp. He is, he has looked lost on multiple occasions thus far to start this game, defending his his ramp assignment. Snarf on this decon rotation, we saw him get obliterated from on the pistol round. No walk. Going to try to prevent any further scaling from these control players. Ali is going to get a nice start there. Now Ext tasked with the trade. No walk whipping out utility, and Ext benefits double kill for him. Two versus three now. Straight lock in a well bangable position. Is Snarf going to try for it? He's getting flanked behind him, Decon. This is all based on timings here. He's going to get taken out by CMX, and now Arcranic likely to save. IPY bounce back, and 
That, it's once again just on baffling positional decisions from Crisscross. Habitual one map player, Anup Marat. Mm. Looking lost, Anup Marat. Regardless, though, yeah, just playing ramp like that in a position where you can get instantly without even getting one or two is... It's gonna lose your nine nine rounds out of yeah. ten. I mean, the thought is, you know, you throw the smoke and then you get on your off angle so that if they come through the smoke, you're impossible to pre-aim. You get the first, you get the second, and then you can easily kind of escape from that point. Or you go down and you got two. The problem is, he's throwing this Molotov and then trying to smoke on top of it without realizing that, like, if T's are just there, they're just not, you know, not going to respect that. Like, the typical kind of ramp start is either deep smoke, nade, and then watch the smoke immediately, or you just molly and get to a spot where you can fall off if needed. And he's kind of combined both, and it's cost him Big Daddy A trying to find an entry. He's done that before, but not going to be successful this round. They've actually put a Ouija on ramp with Crisscross this round, and going to rotate Crisscross off now. So... IPY going to be very heavily dependent on this outside default to find success. Crisscross playing that hell off angle. He's definitely spotted the cross, but that's not an easy shot to hit. Gumboot on the exact pixel angle to almost die. Crisscross not able to make good on it. EXT was able to click Snarf there. Heads outside. Flashbang goes deep. No walk. Finds a kill in mini. Rotates to an untradeable position. Oh, he's actually going to push into lobby. This is going to be a lot of important information for the CTs. I mean, now you can just focus so much of your effort down on that B-bomb site. And, and indeed, Oiz is in a very good position to defend. The CTs, or sorry, the uh, T-side Jaguars now. Going to spring there, execute on the B-bomb site with both control and decon control, but will it be enough? Oiz is in a nice position to defend here. Getting wall bang, gun it. Oh, he actually jumps up instead of just trying to avoid it. And CMX is there to punish. That's a bit of a weird decision to jump. Maybe not really experienced in holding that. Post plant activated. One kit is available for the CTs. That's on Arcranic. Crisscross smoked off that cross. Arcranic running in. CMX finds two quick ones. And now. Michigan once again left with nothing to do but save. This T side has been so solid for IEPY to start this game. Yeah, so the wild card of a uh, nuke looking great for IEPY early, especially on this T side. The least favorite side, and if I do, he seems to be doing. Everything right? Oh, he doesn't and... realize that you can't see over that when you're that close. CMX gets a free one. CMX finds him. Big Daddy A. Big Daddy A is sniffing what he bought. <laughs> he is sniffing something that he loves. A nice juicy snack of eco frags. Expect some crazy stuff. All eyes on Big Daddy A and his P90 adventures. Yeah, he's flying out Squeaky go. Door. He is literally just soaring out Squeaky Door. Finds the first full blind. He is not stopping, and he gets killed. The Weez finds um, it. Gumboot trading. Our Kranich finds one as well. They are going through smoke grenades. It is dangerous now. Starf in a one versus two. Big Day definitely going to be saying uh, very choice words to EXT for that flashbang. Starf is close. Mm. Six to one. Sherlock finds a 3k in the chaos, and uh, the Jaguars already have enough rounds that you'd be content with on this T-side. Now, I say that, and I think you could have said very similar things about uh, Ancient, and uh, I feel I ended up losing a lot of rounds that closed that half. So, never say never with regards to these early leads. IPI looking to keep it pretty simple here again, I think. Lobby, heavy default. Crisscross, going to be playing an off angle on ramp here. Now, IPI threw a default to suggest some kind of um, vent drop play. And Snarf is actually in front of it. We, no walk, also in front. 
of a lot of the T side aggression outside, only able to find one before getting traded. Bomb's still on lobby. CMX is trail like working these outside extremities. Oweez looks like he's getting a little bit too uh, anxious and he's going to go down. CMX posted on that exact angle. Now crisscross. Looks like he might be getting challenged as well. Big Daddy taking a wide swing. EXT finds Snarf on a push. And now crisscross caught out in the open. Nowhere to go. Our Kranich will find an over aggressive Big Daddy A, but is also going to find that his A site is under opponent control. And at this point, you've saved in all of these situations in the past. Collecting the AWP looks like it's going to be saved as well. But once you start getting down 1-6, to six, you, you might start getting desperate. That smoke is, is likely going to end any sort of des desperate activity. Our current ain't going to take his AWP and try to hide. 7-1. to one. IPY, a fantastic, fantastic start to this. Yep. They're three. looking really comfortable on this new T side. The calls have been really well. Been executing uh, most of their plays perfectly. Michigan's gonna have to figure something fast for these games. This game won't even be close. Yeah, I mean, even in saying that, this is not gonna be a good buy for the Michigan side. Actually, Snarf is just forced all the way down, no util. So they're actually gonna buy here. I said you might start going for rounds out of uh, pure desperation, and I think this is an example. You look at a seven round T side when you only have one round to fight, and you're just like, we need rounds now. IEPY, a lot of early util on this A bomb site yet again. Lurk Smoke, not thrown for Squeaky yet. F all five for IEPY in lobby. That's gonna be a, a very effective flash on the Snarf, and I think. The exits will follow Molotov being thrown, and because they had to just buy, they don't have the smokes to put out that molly. And IEPY, they are flirting with an A execute here. Molly comes in, and here comes Big Daddy A swinging out wide. He finds the first kill. No walk, just holding a nade, waiting for his teammate to die. And once again, IEPY just completely dominant on this T side of Nuke thus far. Off angle from Straylock on Tetris, catches out no walk, and I mean. They've been saving every round in this situation, but I think IEPY understand that, and they're going to start hunting if no walk doesn't push. You never want to say it's over, but... What is... There was some tomfoolery happening on top hut there, in the middle of a post plant. And they it doesn't even matter. IEPY gets away with it. True, they do. Eight to one. Michigan fans is looking ugly. <laughs> well, I mean, this is where I feel I might start to get a little goofy if they weren't already in that last round. So maybe Michigan can find some gaps there, but I mean, they're looking to just actually just push very quickly into lobby it seems there are two players in hut and snarf is not stopping very quickly into this hut corner Arcranic holding an off angle this is a good setup and we'll catch out any t's if their rotations made outside is the main focus for the bomb right now on the ipi side gumbo swinging into the angle actually is completely ready for our Kranich's play there and finds it snarf really not in a position to trade i'm a bit surprised by the complete inaction Uwees just shot his teammate because he thought he was an enemy He saw Snarf's foot and started shooting. Meanwhile, Snarf has completely missed the timing Gumboot had to get into vent, and now Gumboot will go down, actually. It's becoming more and more a timing game, and Crisscross will find CMX on that game. Meanwhile, the CTs have stopped the secret crawl for now. However, EXT with full ramp control could be the wrinkle the Jaguars need. No walk seems to be aware of the possibility. Is looking for it, but can't find the kill. EXT, nice headshot on a no walk there, and opens up the B bomb side for his team. Scaling onto it now, finds no one, but there is one player in Snarf, only able to find one. Crisscross, 
Found CMX early in the round. Down one to eight. And one versus two. No kit. His team desperately needs any sort of win to grasp onto. This double dark setup is going to be hard to expect. Dancing around. We'll find Big Daddy A. We're not able to find the kill. Nine to one. This is... This is tough, and Michigan start is going to start to deploy their timeouts. I'm a little bit surprised that if they're going to use them now, they didn't use them earlier. Yeah, but regardless, IPY, um, putting so much fear in the Michigan that they are they're shooting each other. Um, <laughs> we're on the Michigan sideline. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, the viewers at home this is starting to get uh not safe for work. So what I'm witnessing. Yeah, um, uh, it just looks like. It's hard to even say that, like, I mean, the, the ramp scenarios that we saw in the early game, both pistol and on the first gun round with crisscross, those were definitely positional kind of errors. But ever since then, it really just has seemed like IEPY is just hotter on the on the aim battles. And what what you can definitely say, I think, thus far is that IEPY's trading fundamentals have been have been very very solid. There have been very few indication, sorry, very few instances of untradeable kills for the IEPY side. They almost have exclusively occurred in the mini garage area. So no walk on ramp actually picks it up for crisscross here and it has run exactly the play I, I mentioned earlier about the deep smoke and the nade. Snarf going for some outside map control. Going to be shut down by Straylock. Finding almost like literally nothing in response. Not even damage. Iwiji getting pre-aimed and pre-fired. Trying to return the favor. And so aggressive. Big Daddy A just wants to get this game over with. And he is finding success in it. Crisscross and his teammate Arkrenic getting pinched on this A-bomb site. Crisscross not even able to find one. EXT denies Arkrenic a kill as well. This is an absolute disaster for the Michigan Wolverines. The adjustments have not worked out. Not even for a single kill. IEPI completely dominating this third map of Nuke. This is pure domination. 10-1. to I'm falling asleep trying to cast this. Which is... Michigan showing no real signs of life on this map. Yeah, I mean, and what a difference from Mirage, where they looked really dominant at times, especially on the defense. The defenses that they've shown since have, have really just been, like, hollow shells of their former selves. It's, uh, sad. Crisscross not going to oh no no way gumbo meant to throw that molotov top hut and it ends up killing crisscross on the back gumbo meant to meant for that molly to land top hut and crisscross walks into it not expecting a molly to be in a random spot that's so funny our cranic picks up a kill three versus three cmx unexpectedly lurking through mini garage very quickly and now a bit of a change of position here the cts have hut and lobby but it's not going to be good enough to stop this side take no walk lurking through squeaky in a one versus three. And he will be found. Oh my god. That is. <laughs> I've never I've literally never seen that Molly get a kill. That is so funny. He was rewarded for the mistake. Nuke has just rewarded a bad player. <laughs> When I first heard him start burning that second time, I was like, what is he burning and why is there a molly there? And I realized it's it's the spot that that molly lands if you miss it. If you have side. Oh, this is the lobby crunch. EXT is not looking ramp at all. Here comes the AWP and it's going to find the kill. Big Daddy A though quickly ended many. Opens up the A bomb site, not the CTs. Nowhere to be found to stop this bomb plant. Once again, going to be a post plant. Drillock pre firing every angle to his demise. Big Daddy A finds the trade. And now, retake is on. LKW Theory, will it be in play? CTs need it to be in play. Smokes up, we'll deny the progress, and that means a lot when there's no kits. T Max denies no walks. Walk through, squeaky. And I think the CTs are considering a save down 1 to 11. This is some outsider stuff right here.
I feel like guaranteed 12 nuke T C yeah, 12 nuke T side rounds. I can't even say it because it's so unexpected. Unbelievable. I mean, in all reality, this is the exact outcome that we expected a lot from this IEPY squad. Finished fourth last year in phase of collegiate. Has had troubles getting their full five on the server at the same time, and it is shown, particularly in the loss to ASU. But yeah. in today's match, it has been nothing like that, especially when you only consider the, the maps of Ancient and Nuke. CTs, can they even find two? A question that you never expect to ask on Nuke, but it's looking more real by the minute. Big Daddy A waiting for his time to come out squeaky crisscross. Going to be the target of Top Hunt. Molly's going to force him out, and it is good to find the entry. Meanwhile, our critic only on 3 HP after the Molly burned him as well as... Actually, we'll reposition two safety in Huts. EXT knife out, trafes away, and is able to find the kill. Good movement from EXT there. Once again, an A retake. This time down a man, R Michigan. Luis lurking up with his retake smoke. That nade. Gonna do some decent damage. Luis lucky to be alive. Strafe back just in time to avoid the shots. So much utility on this T side, though. No walk. Just a. Just no. Where to move, and he's gonna jump out and try to save. Wow. Nice shot. IPY, 13 to 1. If Michigan wins this game, they are actual legends. <laughs> yeah, this is just... Who would have thought? IPY said, you know, we lost map one. We were forced into playing three maps on a school night. Let's get this over with. And uh, get it over with they have. Let's see here, are there any, uh... I mean, good bounce back map from Big Daddy. He, he really pulled together on the CT side of Ancient. Oh my god, nice shots from EXT, just... Oh, he's completely destroyed this lobby. Copium push. And, uh... This is gonna be 14 for IAPY. Unless... Big Daddy A and Gumboot cannot close it out. A takes a shot. Gumboot spots Gumboot's out, crisscross, yeah. Smart by crisscross to get off the angle and not get pre-fired. See, Big Daddy has gotten down secret, but he's not the bomb carrier. And there goes the bomb, so... Despite EXT getting three insta-HSs on a lobby crunch, Michigan is likely going to win a round, and if they lose this round, it is truly, it is truly doomed. Because Big Daddy was on 9 HP when this 1v2 started. Has now disconnected his mouse and keyboard. See, out of all bullets. What? Arcranic has given up the bomb. And is playing for presumably a plant denial. And this play is looking better by the second. Big Daddy A fully convinced that... Arcranic is somewhere outside. Gonna grab Bomb. The key decision here is whether or not he checks Squeaky. And he won't. Michigan wins two gun rounds. Will that be enough? No, it won't. I'm not even gonna play it up. <laughs> this game is gonna be over within the next six rounds. And if it's not, then IEPY is, is throwing. The start of that throw begins here. IEPY looking to tie the pistol round count in the series 3 to 3. Early windows broken, no utility, but a decoy thrown. Looks like we're going to see a fast ramp play here. No one here to defend it but Straylock and Gumboot. Gumboot taking the first contact, gets gooshed up. Now Straylock 
is the next point of contact. He's going to go down. Big Daddy rotating in for some help. Takes a wide swing. Not able to find any kills. Now the T side is pivoting back to the A bomb site from Lobby. And it's just EXT to defend here. One versus three on this bomb site until heaven rotations come in. He is getting swarmed. He accidentally right clicks and goes down. CMX and Big Daddy A now two versus three. So Big Daddy just running out. Can't find no walk. And now CMX in a one versus three goes down. So Michigan win the pistol. This is where you could start huffing the copium for the Michigan comeback. CT side going to opt into a force buy. Deagles, scouts, UMP theory. That's all there for the IUPUI side. It looks like a bit of an outside stack is in play. Gotta be pushing up quite fast. There is a player on top silo in a Weege who has heard at the very least utility. Gotta be lurking around the outside of it. Gets instantly one dig by EXT. That is not an angle he was ready for. Snarf gonna try to make a play out of A here, but Big Daddy A, he's in such a good position to deny this. I mean, without a flashbang, and there's no one ready to throw one. Any exit out HUD is likely to be met. With Doom now pivoting towards ramp, there is a bit of a gap here. Just Gumboot on the UMP. Should be very tradable. But he's like, Gumboot, scroll wheel jumps and gives away his position. That is unfortunate. For the, for the IEPUI offer, quickly scaling onto the B side is the T side of Michigan. They got a sprayed through the decon smoke. Michigan, they are showing some signs of life here on this T side. IEPUI looks like they're eager to go for this retake, showing differing strategies than Michigan. CMX starting to back away now, though. Gotta save. Gonna be some exit fights here on ramp. Goes 50 50 thus far. Straylock with a 5 7 is able to pick up another. Crisscross. Gonna save in dark here. Do not show this to uh, Cisco Dev with regards to Inferno and Ancient Bomb Radius. <laughs> So, IEPY still going to be in a, a kind of a mixed buy scenario. And Michigan flirting with five rounds. They're going to need 11 more than even that to win this map and win the series. But it was a start. Early round, once again, starts with an outside stack. Outside lean from IEPY. They are going to be Challenged by Ouija on the AK. This time he is not getting one deep by EXT. He is instead one tapping the entirety of the CT contingency outside. And Chris Cross will finish that round off. That was very quick and very clean for Michigan. Yep, very clean. Any any sign of a comeback, any clean rounds, and then any clean rounds. So, first gun round, IEPY not able to buy up into an AWP, but likewise for the Michigan side. Going to be throwing a Lurk Smoke for the outside default and the Glaive Molotov. Nothing more for that T side push, however, really is no CT monitoring of this possible cross regardless, so. Not a lot of information either ways for the T or CT side. That nade does decent damage onto our Kranich. Big Garage Smoke being lined up from Snarf. Pulling that, and this is, might be where we start to see challenges onto Mini or onto the outside position. No Walk actually is able... has He's actually crossed all the way down into Secret. <clears throat> the impact of this play is going to be highly dependent on whether his teammates can get bomb into a place where this matters. Right now walking into T-spawn. 
and then to ramp on the rest of the T side where CMX has taken over for Straylock. Not able to find the first kill. Four versus four. The pinch begins now. No walk into Decon. Not clearing back silo as he exits, and Straylock finds that kill for free. How will the T side react? It looks like they're still going to head towards B. There's a Decon right here. The flash is so good from Straylock. He finds one and a half, goes down. And now crisscross in a one versus three. Traps dark, 35 HP. Completely surrounded. And IUPI moved himself onto 14. Two rounds away from moving themselves into the four and two group in the collegiate league. Michigan still has enough money to buy up. And we used onto the AWP. Looking to jet updraft onto Silo here for sure. Wait, he actually did a jet updraft onto Silo. Currently in his head, Awiz are thinking. Awiz is thinking. They're not better than me. Every time he's about to take an angle. Big Daddy A proves he is better, however, than Criss Cross. Finds the opening kill for his team. Gumboot playing off angles into CT spawn. Finds one, almost finds a second. Awiz lost and confused as to where his teammates are getting shot from. The A1S bullets are so quiet. And now on top, man, he's just getting surrounded. Big Daddy A relentlessly aggressive. And this all but guarantees a 15th round for the IEPY CT side. Michigan getting overwhelmed by IEPY's girth and tonnage with regards to gun round success. CMX is getting bored. The flash is excellent from Gumboot. A Kranich, no map control, no hope. Finds one. Has bomb. Rotating up the ladder. Big Daddy 8 there to punish. 15-5. IPI, one round away. I, I'm falling asleep, man. I got no... Yeah. I am snoozing right now at the game, man. Z, 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 Z. Yeah, I mean, Michigan didn't even throw a discount EG smoke or a mini smoke at all to try to take that outside position. Gumbo pretty much just given free off angle kills. What will Michigan pull out as their last chance strategy? Our Kranich trying to find an early kill onto the ramp. Player made, luckily for him, avoids. Extreme damage, EXT and Gumboot though, finding kills for themselves across the map. EXT doubles up from top hut, and this is looking done and dusted. Crisscross trying to stop that, but he will not. Arcranic in a familiar situation, rolled up against him. One versus four. This is all but likely the end for Michigan. Uh, it was good for them to take a map, but Crisscross, his heroics did not appear on Ancient or on... Nuke and his teammate cannot step up in regards to that. Arcranic looking to clutch a 1 versus 4 actually has made this exceedingly winnable. IPI coming to their senses a little bit here, doubling up on a ramp. Arcranic is going to be given the time to plant. Will he try to make an extreme reposition? He won't. The smoke should give him some space, but CMX is approaching so fast. And Arcranic will not be able to win. Z, 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 my friend. Oh, epic so, fight. IEPI has proven they are better than doubling new counter strike at beating Michigan. Thoughts? We'll see them in playoffs. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. If nothing else, uh, this is a good bounce back win for IEPI. This is the first time in, I think, at least two or three games, maybe, that they have had their full five, and it shows, especially in the match that they were able to win. Uh, I, I think if you are... I think IEPI are probably going to be satisfied with nothing less than an uh, undefeated rest of the way, which means, uh, what, two more wins? Uh, eight, eight games? Into 6-2. Yeah. I mean, e even 6-2 is not going to give you um, a high seed and more than even one game. So definitely a season that they're going to have to redeem through playoffs at this point, but it's a good start on to Michigan. Good win there. And... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be interested to see if they make any f further changes to their map pool with regards to whether they want to be picking into 
uh, or I, I guess floating maps like Mirage and Overpass because it really does seem like that nuke uh, map three decision uh, not only was uh, right really a, um, a deviation away from Overpass, but it definitely also seemed to be the correct one. Uh, that was maybe the hardest we've seen IEPI win a game, especially against a level 10 stack all season. And uh, with how Mirage went, basically just losing a map entirely to to one and you know like maybe maybe a half players on that Michigan side, I do wonder if they start to. I mean, they're never not going to ban Inferno, so I guess Mirage is always going to be on the table for their opponents to pick. But I, I do wonder if that will change their opinion on on even having it as a pick and maybe explore apps like Anubis. But mm-hmm. I mean, it, thinking back to even wasn't a week one of this exact same team. Uh, Anubis was actually the savior in the series because they won their opponent's map pick of Anubis in that overtime thriller, and then ended up losing their own map pick of I think it was Vertigo. So Vertigo. if it wasn't if it wasn't for Anubis in that first uh, week, they would have they would be an even worse place record wise. So I mean, they were down 11 to 15 too. And then they hit the four yeah. Yeah. Or 11, 14. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so, uh, this is a Monday. The next game will be scheduled around Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, expect a stream. If it happens to be on some one, one of either Friday or next Monday, uh, rare weekend streams can't happen, but, That'll happen, and and hopefully it'll be on YouTube and not Twitch next time because uh, YouTube briefed us today. But with that said, we'll we'll end the stream here, and thanks for watching.